embrace the strange today's illusion is bloom through i tweaked the sketch last minute so the head is different from the concept sketch the petal head is more dynamic and creates a more fluid motion to the painting as a whole at least that's what i hoped do you see it i don't know comment if you want <laughs> rumpled the figure almost spastically worms on its motions pained and jerky the spine is a green eye one eye probes the spine while the other is pinned under the body's weight the fingers twitch restlessly the petal head lies flat on the ground a painful grimace of a smile spreading across the face punctuated with another green eye a third is hidden in the crease of the neck and the shoulder the petal head also resembles a torch the fire petal i like to think of it because I've read the lengthy introduction to the picture of Dorian Gray, I ordered the books said to have been an influence to Oscar Wilde when he wrote the book. Marius the Epicurean by Walter Pater and I don't know how to say his name for sure, but I'm gonna guess. Um, Joris Heisman, Heisman Against Nature, which is actually a French translation. Although I didn't necessarily like the book, The Picture of Dorian Gray. I'm still very curious to understand the mindset behind it. I like to do that with a lot of things. I don't know, it's like in my mind, I'm like, by seeing what the people saw, I'm like, I can kind of understand like the inner workings and like the logic behind it. The introduction described uh, Oscar Wilde using his influences as uh, sort of a cannibalistic thing, verging on plagiarism even. It also discussed the origins of decadence in literature between he and Charles Baudelaire. Going into it made me think the story wouldn't have much of a plot because it would be bogged down with descriptions of lush interiors, but there weren't any. No more than the descriptions I read in Amy Tam or like Anne Rice books. And to me, lush descriptions or like sometimes a lot of exposition in books, it shows an appreciation or the, the necessary setting you know for like world building only chapter one um and chapter 11 were decorative which i think oscar might have done to capitalize the point of art for art's sake a mindset i can't fully get behind because i don't think my work aligns with that narrative and i think to agree would be it would, it would be an insult to my work it'd be compromising something very integral because uh, i years of it i've put years into this and my art itself is uh cultivated and it, it you know it's like a very mutual beneficial relationship sort of thing um i've even you know i give art the personification of a person and i don't think anything is really without meaning nothing is without you know consequence cause and effect i think that idea even negates inspiration or the influence you know just being alive you're constantly inspired and influenced in some way you know in some capacity but maybe he just said it because he liked how it sounded you know something provocative because i do kind of get that vibe from him <laughs> i don't know just me um if you take anything away from this video it is art truly art and art goes on so i will in my next video thank you for watching